Good morning, everybody. Hannah here. Welcome back to another little vlog. It's currently Saturday. As I mentioned in last week's video, last Friday and Saturday, I spent some time in Kyoto and Osaka. So, not gonna lie to you, I went with a friend and I got nervous. I didn't want to film in front of her, like speaking to camera. So I've got loads of beautiful clips and put together a little montage, a whistle stop tour of Osaka and Kyoto for you to enjoy. Oh yeah, also when I was in Osaka last weekend, I bought some new makeup and I'm not 100% happy with what's going on in my face right now, but um, I don't want to take it off or redo it. So we're just gonna also mask me. The mask wearing is real. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna deal with what's on my face and just pretend that this week it's, um, yeah, I'll get better. I've not played with makeup in so long. Just thought I'd add that disclaimer just in case I get some, your eyeliner's dodgy comments. I know, I know. <laughs> Everybody's climbing Trying to get to the show Life is money And you're just a hoe Don't take it personal Talking about me too. What else should we do? What else should we do? But I gotta admit, it feels so good. Like a sugar sweet. Everybody's climbing, climbing, trying to get to the show. Life is money, money, and you're just a hoe. Don't take it personal. I'm 
talking about me too What else should we do? What else should to that whilst we were in Osaka last weekend my friend actually kind of introduced me to the idea of Ichina which is a ramen restaurant here in Japan where you go in and you order your ramen you tell them exactly what you want in it whether you want any extras all on a little bit of paper you give it to the person you sit in an individual booth I'm gonna actually insert a picture of an Ichina restaurant here just so you know what I mean and then they serve you the ramen straight to your little booth without talking to you. <laughs> it's a very like impersonal, very antisocial way of eating, but it's efficient and apparently it's delicious. So the other day when I was in Donkey, which is like a big, uh, I've talked about Donkey before, it's like a big discount store here. I found some Ichiran instant noodles and that's what I'm gonna be eating today for lunch, instant ramen. And when us Brits think instant ramen or instant noodles, we think pot noodles. And I promise you, pot noodle is nothing. Pot noodles game is so weak in comparison to the instant ramen we have here in Japan. I'm going to insert just a little clip from my kombini that is literally at the bottom of my um, flats, my local corner shop, if you like. This is the selection of instant ramen that they have in just a tiny little corner shop. Can you imagine if we had that choice of pot noodle in the UK in just like your regular corner shop? Hilarious. But anyway. I'm gonna try the Ichiran instant noodles. I'm going to go out and buy some pork and some spring onions. I've got some egg because it's obviously, to enjoy it, you wanna be able to garnish it appropriately. I think the ramen pack I've bought just comes with noodles and the broth. So I'm gonna give it a go, just to tack on to the end of this video so it's not just a montage of Kyoto and Osaka. I thought it'd be fun. When in Japan, try instant ramen. So I'm gonna take you to the supermarket and then we'll be back. Mission accomplished. Even popped a Daiso. Daiso, Daiso. Um, and, which is a 100 yen store, grabbed myself some ramen bowls and spoons, I think, and soup spoons. But I thought, if I'm gonna eat ramen, I really actually don't have a bowl big enough. Okay, so this is my Ichiran instant ramen. Oh my gosh, I was holding it upside down. <laughs> Here are the ingredients. So I believe 500 ml of hot water. Add in the noodles. When it's boiling, add in the sachet of sauce, pour it into a bowl and then garnish. Spring onion pre-cut because I'm lazy as hell and they sell it like this and I'm pretty sure I did something wrong with the meat this is I think just ham but from experience you actually cook the pork for the ramen by boiling it um so it's normally super super soft and moist and so what I might do is just I'm just going to use ham I'm just going to use pre-cooked ham they're kind of thick slices so i feel like they'll be fine i might even heat them up in the microwave first just i feel like that's really not authentic at all but i'm just excited to try the broth so let's go yay 
think my ham is sinking, but it looks cute. Sorry, I've got, um, anyone watched The Missing when it was on TV in the UK, like, years ago? I'm having a huge true crime, not that this is true, but a huge crime resurgence, and I suddenly thought, oh my god, I really want to watch back The Missing, so I'm starting it again, but... Here he, here he is. Here's my little ramen bowl. Now to try it. Okay, here goes. I've had to move you around because um couldn't get the lighting right. Try the broth first. That's so good. I'm excited. Ready? The noodles feel super soft, but that's my that's my issue. Rookie mistake, never wear white to eat ramen. Okay, I'm making a mess everywhere. Hold on. Whoa, these noodles are long. Forget pot noodles, England. Like, what are we playing at? What are we playing at? I'm going to carry on eating this. See you in a bit. This is delicious, though. If I can find a way to get some of this home, I will. Mm. Yum! All finished with the ramen now. It was honestly so delicious, but I feel like I've barely scraped the surface when it comes to trying instant ramen here in Japan, so I can't really give it an accurate rating, but like, yeah, it was it was so yum. If you can try the Ichidan instant ramen, then I would definitely recommend. I know this week's video has been a bit of a weird one, and I feel like it's been a lot of montages and cutaways and not a lot of, like, face to camera. But I hope it's given you insight into some more little snippets of my life here in Japan, what it's really like and how much fun it is. And if you want to see more from me, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on your notification bell. I will be back next week with another video, maybe a bit more talking to camera. And yeah, see you then. How many times did I just say and? See you next week, guys. Bye.